Hi guys, I'm Nikhil Chavla from the Unbiased Blog and after a month we are shooting a video. We, our team and me are safe and doing well. I hope it's the same for you guys. Please take care, please stay safe and take all precautions. That will be great for all of us and if you are eligible for vaccination, please go and get that done. So let's start with today's video. Today we are talking about the Android 12. Yes, the newest on the block, still not for public release, it's still as a release for public beta testing and we've been testing it on Pixel 4a for a while now and we are thoroughly impressed. The set of features, the set of design changes that we got are really impressive. Specifically, we talk about major design changes on the lock screen and you know, you talk about the notification shade, settings and making it even better from Android 11. Some features will be added, some will be removed, some will be polished as per the feedback that they get from people who are testing it like us. So the first prominent change you'll see is right up front. As soon as you switch on the power, you'll see this huge time on the lock screen. This is the clock now and you can change it, obviously tweak it, but this is the default that you see when you switch on the phone or you know on the lock screen. You also get information like weather and other notification that you want on the lock screen. When you want to unlock it, obviously you can use the pixel imprint fingerprint sensor to unlock it or what you can do is like when you try to lock it manually, you'll see these big digits now. It's not like tiny digits that were a little tidy and a little, you know, uneasy for people to use with big fingers and thumbs. As soon as you unlock, the major changes that you'll see is set of wallpapers, you know, the way you can change the grids and all the customization. But first, I think everybody draws the notification panel or shade down and that's when you see those major changes. A completely new blocky design. Very clear and very cleverly done by Google. Obviously, like I keep mentioning, you will, might not see all these changes when the final version comes out and they might even get better by the time it's out in September. So if you're already convinced that you should try Android 12 on your smartphone, so there are a bunch of smartphones that support it apart from Google Pixel devices. A lot of manufacturers have jumped in. The list has grown. So if your smartphone is in the list or not, we have a detailed article on how to install it and how to you know put Android 12 on your devices. So don't worry about it. You won't break your device if you follow all the steps that we're given. So you can go to the Unbiased blog, read that article. And if you still have any queries, you can tweet to us, you can leave a comment and you can reach out to us in any manner and we'll be more than happy to assist you on how to install Android 12 on your devices. So like the quick setting shade, the notifications have been overhauled. So you see those blocks again and you see those interactive notifications that you can interact with and they're now much more richer in content and much more easier to tap on and you know, get information. So these notifications also have been enriched and these are little changes that you know in a way overhaul the whole UI of the new operating system. Even the setting menu has been tweaked. You see that search bar has changed a bit and you see your own profile on the right. One great feature that I really wanted to point out is the enhanced screenshot features. Most of the times when you're posting pictures or screenshots, you know, using it without giving credits or you know, misusing it. So what you can do is as soon as you take a screenshot, you can add your own text. There are a lot of fonts, a lot of colors that you can play around with. So these screenshots in a way are your intellectual property and you can, you know, save your name or your publication. So in a way it's fun to interact and you know, the screenshots have got even a lot better now. So in terms of customization, now you have different set of wallpapers, you have different set of grid options and that really enhances the experience because you know you can get grids up to 4 into 4, 3 into 3, 2 into 2 as per you like it. So the media player interface has also got better now. You can you know see the whole player, thumbnail, everything right there. You can control the player from there and it works across player, it's not limited to the Android player. So you can use any of your OTT apps and you see that rich media player in the notification panel right there. Now, a lot of people have new devices coming or you know people coming over and then you have to share Wi-Fi password and not everybody remembers the Wi-Fi passwords all the time. So Google always had that share QR code option, you know, which was easier. Anybody could, you know, share by clicking the QR code and you can scan the QR code and your phone connects to your other devices. So if you're a guest over and he uses an Android device, now it's even better or even Windows devices for that matter because now the share by devices works across platforms. So what you can do is like open Wi-Fi settings, Either you can scan it or you can click on share devices or you can click on nearby devices and it automatically finds nearby devices and connects to nearby devices, you know, automatically gives you a password, which was always there in iOS for a while now, but it's better now that Android has also got it. Now, widgets were always there on Android platform. iOS got it just last year, but they were very rich, they were very competitive and they were in a way somehow much better than what we have seen on android over the years we kind of transition that android made was very slow 
it was always good to have widgets but it was not improving at the fast pace we would have expected now they're richer now the people widgets ui specifically like you just select it and you can just select which person you want to tap on on any of the platform that you communicate on in fact it suggests the platforms that you've been using for a while now and you know whether it's slack messenger or any other platform if you're communicating with someone it will automatically suggest so the people widgets is really handy just tap and you can communicate with them directly a lot of people consume content on pip mode which is picture in picture mode like you're working and you're watching the news or you're watching something and you're tweeting so that picture in picture mode has also been enhanced now what you can do is by tapping on it you can enlarge and not by enlarging i don't mean going full screen earlier when you used to tap it, it used to go either small or full screen now you can adjust the size as far as you want it so depending on your display size of the device you can adjust it and that breaks really handy so that was all for android 12 right now because you know still the features are rolling out and there will be certain changes that will happen so we'll come back with if there are any major changes but if not then we'll come back in september with the final release for everybody and talk about the official android 12 and the feature set that it gains so thanks for watching the unbiased blog and again i'm repeating please stay safe please take care and thanks for watching this one